Hey everybody, this is WCW the Bossman, and this is just a response, real quick, to Michael Young's video again. Because not only did he give me a shout out, which I appreciate, but he talked about a topic that we in the industry, at least the younger um, contingent of wrestlers, performers, promoters like myself, we talk about today, you know, right now, is that the younger crop of wrestlers and promoters such as ourselves, we talk about the racial issues. We talk about the fact that there hasn't been a lot of African American world champions, that there's been a lot of racist gimmicks, you know, and that a lot of the old school promoters, Vince McMahon included, hide behind the character and gimmick argument to racially, you know, have fun with somebody, I guess you would say. Or, in my case, I would call it discrimination. But, to be honest, in my company, I have not yet been able to do it, but at one point, I plan on having, hopefully, depending on skill and character and whatnot, I want to have a African American world champion. I want to have Latino world champions. Any, any race, in my opinion, that has the ability and the desire and the aptitude all around to be a world champion should be a world champion. A color of a person's skin should not determine what, you know, what someone is. And race definitely should not hold a wrestler down. I, I never uh, agreed with the fact that Ahmed Johnson was only an Intercontinental Champion. I thought he could have been more if they had pushed it. You know? I always believed that Farouk should have gotten a shot at, at least the Intercontinental, if not World Championship. You know, I don't agree with the gimmicks that a lot of racially minor, you know, people were given. I never agreed with the Mexico thing with them coming out on the lawnmowers. I thought it was a racial slight that should not have been allowed. You know, if Vince claims to be a man of opportunity, he should give opportunity and not allow people to racially put down folks, you know, or hold them down. And like I said, the younger crop of wrestlers and promoters, we have all discussed at length this issue. I mean, I have a wrestler that I'm very, very close to, at least a couple that I'm really close to, and I tell them all the time how I disagree with the fact that they've not been given 
the opportunity on the independent level yet to become world champion. And I just haven't been able to give it to him because I'm focusing on my health currently because of my disability. But I guarantee you, from this promoter, the promoter of World Class Wrestling Alliance in Port Richie, Florida, I am not and will not ever become a racist towards any race in professional wrestling. And I will make it my mission in wrestling to always be sure that the person that exudes the most potential and skill and connection with the crowd and just all around hard work, no matter what the color of their skin is, they will be recognized as a champion. I will never, ever be racist towards any race, and I hope that the crop of young promoters could change this. I really applaud Michael Young for bringing this up, because not many people have, and I think it's a topic that needs to be discussed, and if you have any comments or questions for me, just let me know, and I'll get you back. But again, um, check Michael Young out. He's really good, and again, thanks for the plugs.